In this video, I will start to talk about some of the specific terms that are used in anatomy. This will involve talking about what is known as anatomical position and will cover the terminology used to describe different parts of the body in anatomical position. Before I talk about terms in anatomy, I want you to think about a map for a moment. There are a couple features of a map that are very useful and make them easy to use. Usually a map is in a standard position or follows a standard convention where north is at the top. If this was not the case, it would be very difficult to read a map that didn't have a compass. The way it is, we can assume with confidence that north is the top of the map and it makes it, our, it, makes it much easier to read maps. Also, we have a bunch of different words in the English language that can be used to describe the position of things on a map. These terms have specific meaning, and if you give somebody directions using words like north, west, near, far, in between, and hand them a map, they could probably find where they're going. Anatomy, in some ways, is like a map of the human body. but we're going to use a different set of terms to describe the, the position. Also, whereas in a map you have north being the top of the map as a standard convention, or you have a compass showing somebody which way north is on the map and allowing them to decode the map, in anatomy descriptions are going to be made with a reference position in mind. The reference position in anatomy, also known as anatomical position, is simply somebody standing relaxed with their arms to their side and their palms facing outwards. All the descriptions we will talk about and the naming conventions for many different parts of the human body are made with this position in mind. However, these descriptions are not made with words like north or top or left or right. They're a little too vague and they're just not conventionally used in anatomy. Instead, this is the set of directional vocabulary that we were going to go over. Most of these terms come in pairs, just the same way that you could have top and bottom or north and south. I should point out that anterior and posterior in humans have the same meaning as ventral and dorsal. However, this is not true for other animals. Let's take each of these pairs of terms and look at what directions they describe on the human body in the anatomical position. Anterior and posterior describe front and back. Anterior is the front, posterior is the back. One way to remember this is that when something is post, it happened already. It's behind you. It's your back. Superior and inferior are the same as saying up and down, top and bottom, or in this two-dimensional re representation, north and south. Another way to remember this is that if you are feeling inferior, you're feeling way down low. If you're feeling superior, you're riding high. Going in the other direction, left to right, or side to side, we're going to use terms like lateral, medial, and intermediate. Lateral means far from the side. Medial is close to the center. And intermediate is in between. Notice that this is going to differ from the next set of terms, distal and proximal. This describes how, so how far something is from your core or your trunk. Your limbs and your extremities, and to some extent your head, is distal. Proximal refers to something that's close to your core or your trunk. Another way of thinking about it is that your fingers are distal while your head is proximal. It's closer to your core or your trunk than are your fingers, which can be very far away. Since our bodies are three-dimensional, we also have a term to describe how deep inside and in fact, this one's fairly simple. If something is on the surface, 
it's called superficial. And if something is deep, it is simply called deep. In this case, the skin is superficial to the muscles, and we could say that the muscles are superficial to the internal organs. Or you could describe this going in the other direction by simply saying that the organs are deeper than the muscle, and the muscle is deeper.